I'm DeAndre Hopkins with the Houston Texans, wide receiver, and this is StockX Market Watch. The reflective and non-reflective Yeezy 350 Lundmarks dropped last week, and the Yeezy comeback story, well, it didn't really change at all. Over 10,000 pairs have already flipped on StockX. Prices are more than 50% over retail, and demand is through the roof. What else is there to say? Yeezys are selling, Yeezys are profitable, Yeezys are back. For more on this Yeezy trend, we sat down with Adidas athlete and Pro Bowl NFL wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins is in the building. Uh, so first question right off the bat, you're an Adidas guy. Nope. When we think about Adidas these days, of course we think about the three stripes, but really it's Kanye, oh, right? Man, like no it's question. easy. No question. And Kanye has been going absolutely insane with recent drops. We got the glows, the black reflectives, the lumbarks, and they're selling like crazy. What's your personal take on, on Yeezy and the things that he's been dropping from a sneaker perspective? Man, I love what Kanye is doing, especially for Adidas, uh, you know, involving the culture and the price point. He's changed the price point. So, uh, you know, I've been a fan ever since he did that. Do you have a favorite Yeezy? Uh, for sure. I would say the Turtle Dove mm. for the first Easy. one. The yeah, first yeah, one. you know, that, that's a classic, yeah. man. You know, that's, that's one that's going to go down in the books, and I feel like those are going to hold the most value over time. Now, when we talk about holding value, we talk about things going in the books. We got to talk about your rating oh, on Madden 2020. <laughs> hey, y'all already know what it is. You know, 99. That's a perfect score in Madden 2020. You know, so, man, just to be out there and, and acknowledged by my colleagues and, and people who, who, who make those rankings, it's a good feeling, but, uh, you know, got to go out there and, and prove it, man, day in, day out. So this ain't nothing new. Like, you ain't get 99 just because. Like, you've been fooling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember my first year, I think I was, like, 67. I only think mm. I was 70 in 2013 when I came to NFL. So, uh, you know, I came a long way, man. All right. So we got some Yeezys here. We've been talking a lot about Yeezys. But I'm going to bring some Yeezys into the fold, right? And I need you to give me a rating. Up first, we got the Yeezy Moths, the 700s. Talk to me. Yeezy Moths. So when I first seen these... I fell in love from the colorway, the bubble gum bottom with the lime green. It was just out there. So for me, I'm going to get these the man rate, 99. Ooh. Ooh. The 99? We're going to start off with the 99. We coming in hot. OK. Coming up next, we got the statics, man. Talk to me about these. I love these, but I'm going to get these a 97 because mm. I can't wear them every day. OK. Too white for me. OK. OK. So we won't put these that close because you know they, they not 99 level so we don't want to just to rub off last but not least we got the sauce man when i first seen them i didn't think they was easy i didn't see the the three stripe i didn't see you know like the the regular kanye vibes mm -hmm. you can wear these he's versatile you can wear them every day work out whatever uh so i'm gonna get these at 98. okay we got you right here we got the Nick Lachey's, the 98 Degrees right here. <laughs> and then we got the 96's right here. Yes, sir. Well, look, man, we appreciate you for coming through. Appreciate you for chopping it up. My yeah. pleasure, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Long man. Big shout out to Dre for coming through, sir. You are welcome back at any time. But the real surprise this week was that Tinker sketched the shelf Air Max 1. Since dropping last Saturday, it's been a top five best-selling sneaker on StockX. I mean, think about it. When's the last time we saw a GR Air Max crack the top five? It basically never happens. When you count up the release week numbers for all GR Air Maxes, the Tinker Sketch to Shelf is the best selling of all time, beating out hits like the Northern Light 720 and the Have a Nike Day One. And when you really think about the history, it's easy to see why these are blowing up. Think way back to the 80s, when Tinker Hatfield, who we now consider a sneaker prophet, was busy applying its architectural knowledge for the swoosh at a time when athleticism was everything. Brands like Reebok, Saucony, Avia, and New Balance all had their hand in a craze that was filled with bright elastics and an obsession for aerobics. Big shout outs to Richard Simmons. I bet you still got a wedgie. So to save the swoosh, Tinker came through with the Air Max. When you think about all of that, these sketch to shelf ones aren't just any other GR release. They're an homage to Tinker's creative process. They capture a pivotal moment in sneaker history and they pay tribute to a man that changed the game forever. So with this cop, we tip our hats to you, Tink. Shout out to you, sir. To the streets! In streetwear news, Supreme is closed for the summer, giving all of our wallets a much needed break. But lucky for us, Jerry Lorenzo is cool with carrying the mantle until fall winter. After literally crushing it in the MLB Celebrity All-Star Game, 
He extended his hot streak to the streets with the release of a new era fitted cap under his Fear of God Essentials line. More than 700 of the fitted caps have resold on StockX since Friday, making it the most popular cap to ever sell on our platform, topping previous hat hits like the Nike Wartherspoon hat and the Supreme Grand Prix cap. And if you want more fear of God in your life, Mr. Lorenzo is following up the hats with the full Essentials Apparel drop on Friday. So grab your high school friends, get ready to camp out at your local PacSun. What did I just say? Camp out in front. Nah, yeah, it's, listen, like, guys. Yeah, I mean, I mean look, look, guys, if, if you told me that we'd be shouting out PacSun on this show a year ago, I probably would have called everyone in this room and everyone watching crazy, but that's where we are right now. But it's 2019! We're storming Area 51 and taking workout advice from Grimes, so literally nothing is real and nothing makes sense. So yes, shout out to PacSun. To the week ahead! Graduation? Sick. And you say Sha City! Because ComplexCon is invading the Windy City, the second city for a weekend of the hypest hype and the hottest drops. The biggest of which looks to be the supposed final arrival of the Air Force One low off-white MCA. So keep not just one eye, but both eyes. Hell, get like Kyrie and open that third eye and look for these joints to release sometime this weekend in Chicago. Plus, we have a slew of other drops from other StockX homies, including Chinatown Market, Joe Fresh Goods, The Hundreds, Louis De Guzman, and more. Now, if you can't hit the shy, Nike is set to drop more jewels just in case. It's the Zoom X Vista grind that's dropping this Friday on the 19th. As for collectibles, keep the computer screen locked and loaded because Cause just released new holiday Mount Fuji pieces this week, including plushes, vinyl figures, apparel, and more. Now, last but certainly not least, shout out to this week's Market Watch Comment of the Week winner, my boy Rowan. M.C, who noticed the Stranger Things properties that were mentioned in the ticker during last week's episode. Make sure y'all paying attention. You never know when we're gonna be dropping nuggets and other Easter eggs. Matter of fact, shout out to our entire team. One time for Alicia. That's all for this week. Major shout out to DeAndre Hopkins for coming through on this week's episode. And if you plan to cop any of this heat that we speak this weekend, let us know what in the comments below. We'll be sure to show you some love. And you're safe, guys, city. I'm coming home, kid. Okay?